NVMe drives have always been out of reach, even for Jack Reacher. Though APACE's M.2 Z280 PCIe Gen 3 4-speed 480GB SSD may change just that. Coming in at 215 USD, it may just be the change maker that you've been looking for. Welcome back to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with my first review of an NVMe drive, albeit an M.2. This is APACE's first NVMe drive as well, coming in with two separate flavors, the 480 gigabyte model and also the 240 gigabyte model under the same banner of the Z280. Though getting straight into the meat, potatoes, sausages and grilled cheese, we can see that this is a small little naked drive. So you do have to handle them with a little more care than you would with a 2.5 inch encased SSD. Though the positive is that it makes my job easier as I don't have to pull the thing apart to get a glimpse of what's inside. And looking at the flash banks, they are using Toshiba 120 gigabyte banks with this model using four for a total of 480 gigabytes attached to a Nanya 256 megabyte DDR3 burst bank, which runs through a Fison controller. Interesting choice, though I'm sure what will please most people is that they're using MLC type memory and instead of the TLC type based stuff that's coming out in a lot of SSDs today. And this particular model is rated at 2 million hours mean time before failure. And then there's the speeds. Let's take a quick look. In AS SSD benchmark, the Z280 scored in another league compared to the Crucial BX100 that I have here on the test bench. Though the 4K random read and writes were, dare I say, still in the same league. IAPS were heavily in favor of the Z280, however. The one to another benchmark I use and that is HD Tune Pro where I do a 10 gigabyte file transfer, sometimes even larger depending on the drive and if it shows some mishaps. Though in this case, there was no mishaps to report. Both drives performed really well at their rated read and write speeds. And what this means in particular for the Z280 is that the Fison controller that they've used on this model has consistent read and write algorithms. So as you can see with the raw numbers there, this thing crushed any standard SATA SSD that I have around here. Though taking a look at the real world benchmarks to see how much faster your PC will boot and also how much faster a game like Battlefield 1 will boot showed it to be not too much of a difference. Though where you'll find some solid improvement over SSDs is if you are dropping and scrubbing massive amounts of files in Premiere Pro, for example, or doing other work that involves heavy usage of your storage device. So there it is, Z280. I was actually gonna do this review after I did the Panther Memory in another review though, but when I saw the performance of this thing and more importantly, the price and the features, I rushed it to the front of the queue. It quite simply is amazing for an M.2 NVMe to cost this little and perform this well. Me personally, I always used to turn away from M.2s and MPCIe NVMe drives, mainly because of the price. They usually commanded a big premium over the standard 2.5 inch SSDs. Though with the Z280 from A-Pacer, you really are getting it all great performance, good memory, and more importantly, a damn competitive price. And when looking at this model coming in significantly cheaper than the competitors M.2 NVMe's SSDs out there, it certainly makes this a contender to be reckoned with. Anyway, great job from APACER on this SSD, and I'm sure not just myself, but a lot of other people are gonna have their eyes keenly on APACER to see what else they bring out in the near future, as this product is just gonna be an absolute hit. And that's about it, guys. This is Brian signing out from Tech City, and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Also, don't forget to plug that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye. Also, before I get out, I had no problems whatsoever on both my X99 Taichi and my X99 MSI board. However, I did have a problem when it came to cloning the actual drive from my main OS SSD drive to the NVMe drive. The true Acronis image software didn't work at all. So if you wanna clone your OS to this NVMe drive, you might have to use some other software out there. Most people is the fact that they're using MLC type memory in this drive.